Uh, we already see some agenda items, and now the meeting's open. The first thing we want to touch upon is we hadn't approved our minutes, which uh, Peg's been diligently doing. So I'd like to, and Peg's been distributing to all of us. Yeah. So I'd like to ask for a motion to approve prior minutes. And we have the list of dates. I only have the ones that I did. It's September 11th. The third. Oh, <laughs> I know I'm good, but I'm not going to put it. It's already October. September 13th, September 5th. I think that, uh, no, August 22nd. That might have been the first time because I think that's when we elected people. Okay, yeah. So I'll move to approve minutes for August 22nd. Forward. Uh, oh, I'll you. give the exact. I don't mind. Yeah, help yourself. Thank you. August 22nd. September 5th. September 11th. 13. Yeah. No, that was, I think that was minutes. Okay. I didn't do that. It's this one. September 11th and October 3rd. Second. September 19th. August 22nd, September 5th. I didn't see the 19th. I didn't see the top of the actual set of minutes. Did I do them then? I don't know. Wait a minute, when was it? It's about August, September. I can see that makes sense. That's two weeks after the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the 11th supposed to be the 19th? 19th. Yeah, I don't think we met the 11th because that was a Monday. Yeah. Meeting. So right. Change the 11th to the 19th as amended. Is that when we were at the casino center? We were here and then had to leave. Oh, that was just last week. That was just, yeah, and I, I sent those out. I know I sent those out. That was from October 3rd. I don't know if you want my computer. All in favor? Aye. Anybody second? Yeah. So we'll, should, yeah. we'll send these off to the van at this point. Or to, okay. So you can put them in before the record them. Yeah, up on the website. Yeah. You want me to forward them to him? Yes, please. I can do that. You have a housekeeping thing to use the platform before we get into the meeting? As we said last week, we wanted to talk about the messaging. And Peg and Tom were kind of speaking communications efforts for the entire team. And uh, one of the things we want to do is when we do spearhead this thing, is come up with the right message. This was created along with those charts probably about three or four months ago for the boat race, actually, around the boat race time. So we wanted to kind of touch base and kind of work and just review these, make sure that we're not in glaring errors. Uh, you have an electronic copy of the boat relief that I sent out after the previous meeting. I can send them out again if you like. Uh, but I want to make sure that we're in the right position to be able to hand these out further because we're going to print another quantity of these for the next time. I think we're going to need something to say in Tom. I think it's the November 6th town meeting. For handout purposes? Yes. Um, we had a discussion with that at the Council on Aging meeting. We brought it up and we thought that probably the best people at that point would be yourself and Carol. And I think she agreed to it, didn't she? I'm not sure. I believe she did. I think she did. At the town meeting. But no, to sit the, to sit in here, because yeah. it's just until the meeting stops. It's yeah. for a brief, it's a brief time. Now, we don't know whether we can actually be in the building or outside the building. I suppose it depends on the night. Depends on the night, but essentially what uh, Helen indicated that as you come in where people check you, you can right. set up a table right in that area, which will probably be inside the little walkway where you walk into the same right. room. I thought Carol said that one was fine with her, too. Carol and I were going to be here. Yeah, all right. So there'll be three of you. 
I think the key Thanks, thing, Diane. Yeah. And I think what we need to do is you know, make it the message has really been one of the questions that came up was the Menden Senior Community Center expansion. We are looking at four locations. So there was some little confusion about expansion. But it's really we're expanding the presence and the capabilities. So you could read it two ways. So I, I don't know if anybody wants to you know, kind of Tom, you have some thoughts. Well, the um, I know two or three weeks ago when I was uh, first seeing these um, this presentation, I wondered if the pictorial part was st uh, strictly representative of expanding at the existing location, or that's how I took it. But I understand that that this pictorial is actually going to be applied at any site that we potentially are going to. Potentially, the diagram is got the building spec will be the spec of trying to move any location. The only one that would have a dramatic difference, I would say, would be possible. If it has a flat foot, if that would be slight. Uh, we will have Mike and his team tomorrow at the senior center yeah. to go through some of the details. Anyway, we can ask that question. going to be here. Yes, no, it, is sorry, it's here. it is going to be here. It'll be here. Uh, and so I had I had posed that of my the architect, and he did say that this would be representative at the different sites as well. Because if we're going to be figuring out the costs for this, I mean, we've got to move the same building to the different places. So I just wanted to make sure that that was representative of no matter where this project ended up, that would be pretty accurate. So it sounds like it would be. At this point, I mean, I'm sure it would modify. Yeah, does it right. move it this way? Right, or like, yeah, depending on like the grade of the land. I mean, it, that's right. right. So, exactly. But I think, it, I think the idea is that it's going to be an equivalent size and structure with equivalent features, even if it's not like identical. Yep. To In it. essence, this is what right. you could look at. And then, uh, so many other things that we're driving in the messaging. I think it's important to note is that, you know, the main between now and November, we're looking at the costing side of this. I think if I can read that correctly. And we're looking at uh, the funding in December through May. We're going to the town meeting in May for approval. And then the build would be sometime after we commence the project and then uh, after the meeting. Executing the paperwork, looking for putting out the bid and the budget. I'm not sure when that comes in July. I mean, this is really about Sam. Yeah, I mean, I'll yeah. Let me ask a general question from a funding perspective. Would the funds that we would look, we'd be looking to get approved at town meeting, would they be looking to cover pretty much every aspect of the needs of this project? Meaning to include all sorts of things that might be going on inside and outside. So, is the 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 the, quote, the sort of the spec that we should get from the architect would be all in get, um, land development, slight land improvement, building fixtures, um, and uh, yeah, and contingency. It should be all in. Yeah, and we can we now and then. There's ways to defray the cost. You can bring that to the field too, and you sure. turn that. There's not spend it. Yeah, there's a couple of things actually in. Like said, obviously, we have the. Uh, we're using the, so that both the street location. There's potential there. Right. Um, I did speak with. Um, Senator Fatman. Uh, he mentioned uh, there's not necessarily a bucket of money. Did I already finish up the last meeting? Yes, you did. Okay, no. You said it, yeah. And there, but there may be items that they can find, such as ADA, mm -hmm. like the elevator, right? So that's a huge piece. Right. right. And actually, another point that Dan indicated in the CPA uh, town preservation money that we all contribute to as taxpayers, you could use that for some of the external areas. When we're looking at, you know, putting activities that are handicapped accessible. Mm -hmm. Around the building, so I want to kind of that part. She's she was amenable to that or for the discussions. Right? I think it's really good that design and structure to your point. I think it's so that's what we really dived on with the planning sources. Um, 
Yeah, and I, I think that we should be focused mainly on the building. Yeah. But as far as the additional outliers, such as walking paths, things like that, that could be as you know a progression past getting the building. Mm -hmm. This is the main goal is to get get in there, get in the facility. Yeah. That's, I think I received. Uh, so, if if you take a look at this, and I looked at this, I read it over a couple times. Uh, you know, Annie gave us to make a difference in one life, uh, in the lives of others. I think that was something that came up a long time ago. But the great message and a mantra that we can use for the center really struck home. That's why I carry my bag around. It. <laughs> and uh, so I think that's an important message. Pictorially, it sounds like we're okay with the picture. And if we go through this, the rest of this inside piece is just general services that are provided by, this is not all inclusive, but the general service area that are there. I think that's a pretty strong message. I bet you half the people who come to the town meeting don't know that the Amy and team puts it One thing I would say, but it's all great. I don't see why. Right, so this is what you're already doing. Why do you need what? to yeah. expand? And I think some of this yeah, off the top of your, your respective heads, I've heard stats thrown at us that say this is why. I think somebody may want to weave this into something. So when they say, hmm, should I? And you start to show them that you have limited capacity with an elderly population that's going to explode. Little things like that sprinkled in black. Yeah. It's not just that since COVID. Since COVID, we're using that one main room. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've changed tables and chairs. Yeah, take it down, put them up. Because that's our biggest space. So to, in order to keep people safe, um, you know, and it, and we're limited there. We'd like to have more people come to exercise, but Diane was in the class today. It's maxed out. So, so I think, I mean, I also like this, but it, it doesn't actually really talk about the need for, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not in here and that like the timeline isn't and it's, I think it's an opportunity when people sit down before the meeting that they're going to have this in front so they, they can read it. I so think it's an excellent point. So like, like some of the information maybe that's on there, like looking for volunteers, like, you know, the timeline for the expansion, if we can fit did that. You, did you know, if you, I mean, yeah. Amy, when you talk about it, your outside class is max, right? What percentage of all your offerings are max or you have a right? Just some of that information that clearly makes that there's there's a desire for these programs. Not everyone can get to them. They're residents, so what do you want to do about that? And also, well, too, the building was built in 1991. The senior population at the time was probably like 400 or so. Um, now we're at like 1,700. 1700. So, I mean, it's, it's grown. Dramatically, and um, yeah, so but no, good, good point, too. Yeah, growth on population. I think you, you indicated to me, too, Amy, that you know, just in the past couple of years, it went from like 25 percent, 26 percent. Oh, well, we, we knew it would be worse. Yeah, it's, 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 it's every year, every year. It's so it's not, but it's up to 28 percent of the population. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, just curious, do we give out food every day for the food pantry, or is it just certain dates? Well, we prepare food. We, we, we have different functions every day. Monday, the food is sorted and stocked. Tuesday, uh, orders are put together. Um, there are people are called ongoing. The only day that we actually have people come in is that first Friday. But we're, we're talking about increasing that because we can't keep going on the way we're going on. It's right. very labor intensive. No, and also um, you're gonna you should let everybody. We you have staffing issues now. Um, yes, your assistant left today. She is gone. When they supposed to be the last day. So we're you know we're we're getting wonderful people in. You know work moms that are coming back into the workforce and they're you know kind of. Test things out with us and you know stay three years. This one was almost two years, and yeah. they get trained they get and they do full time work and benefits. Yeah. But you know, as we talk, maybe Amy, you and I could spend a few minutes a lot of this insight of the why. So, if you, you know, this was maybe, maybe the first thing is when you open this up. Like, did you did you know? I mean, even the food when I think about a food pantry, I'm not thinking about what it is or described. So the services behind a food pantry 
majority of people probably don't even realize what that is. They think it's cans on a shelf that you, you know what I mean? Well, checking the date, stocking. Okay. Like I said, every day we have a different function taking place. Yeah. And uh, but as donations come in, you know, when the scouts food come in, and getting that to the pantry. The did you know is a good way to do the approach. But I think it'd be good to talk about the, you know, the the origin of the center and how long it's been. You know, it's been what 30, 33 years, 33 years now. We were going to have a 30th anniversary celebration. Mm -hmm. And then COVID hit. Yeah. We were going to have an open house so people could see for themselves how limited the space was. I like what um Mark was saying. Um oh Mike, I'm sorry. Um, about putting on the, this little flyer here, like even here, yeah, general services, health insurance counseling, but he's up there, he doesn't have a private office. And then it comes down to the way of car shelter, of course, referrals for veterans, they need a. Yeah, this is, this is all good news about private shelter. Yeah. So, I mean, things like that needed to be, you have to put why we need to go. And then, like here, twice weekly lunches through Tri Valley. If we get a bigger kitchen and we may be able to be here every day. You know, I, you know, I think you're, you're raising a great point. Right? Uh, what we could do is maybe take the, the theme of this and yeah. describe services and why we need it because the limitations are so we're limited. And, and I think some, something like this is not intended to be everything. You just want to have people kind of. Raise an eyebrow and say, huh, and maybe ask a question. This is, I think, would be great to design to engage, to drive engagement. Yeah. I didn't know we did that. And how do you do that, Andy? So, on the mindset yeah. that we have, why is there those things that a lot of people will ask? Yeah. It comes down. Um, any thoughts or suggestions, just email. If you have a comment or a phrase that you think would be catch, catching, I will try to work with baby Amy. I'll spend a few minutes with you tomorrow when we have Michael and Emily doing the time work, or here, I'm sorry. Anything further? And I'll try to turn this around by next week, send it out to the team to review so we can make sure that we have a window to get credit into this. What's a special time? Yes. Six. So it was just six. Oh, six on Monday. Yeah, we got a lot. Six. And you also have that trunk or treat. You wanted to have this for that as well. Uh, or well, maybe. I don't think we would so make can it. I, can I make a suggestion? Maybe for these events, not having this nice trifold, maybe having a flyer. Just run them off and meet at, at the office. Sure, or maybe faster. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, I know I know the library has done some really impressive flyers when they've been you know, yeah. looking for some support. And, uh, out there, elements, I think maybe this one's good for the annual town meeting. Well, well, for the oh, oh, leading up to the leading up to the yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. no, I mean, this, at some point, I think flyers are good, but I think this is. To be catcher or even at this time meeting? How well attended is this town meeting? Yeah, it's so, really so small. You're right. So, why? Well, we'll go through the yeah. effort for, you know, take a little time. Let's yeah. digest right. it because it's right. going to take. Yeah, I mean, but so you could have, you have copies of this left, right? Yeah. So you could like supplement it with, uh, like, we need a bigger, you know, like, we need more space and then with some of that other information yes, this is the look at all the things that we already do and then with the one page could be why we need yes. more space it's in front of the finance window alan's window maybe the police station window just for people might pick it up right okay. yeah well i mean you know, don't put these to waste. It's, no, it's no, the no, word. No, we won't. And then you can kind of fill it and walk over and think to yourself, you know, it's in. And then just slide them out. Post office, too. Yeah. Keep our newsletter for the post office. Yeah, yeah and they yeah. have a store pantry box up there, too. Right, that, uh, well, that's really, that's really the crux of the meetings. Because between here and May, we need to try to touch everyone in the town. And I think. I know you guys met. Any thoughts on what? What's your thoughts on coming up with a recap of what you're thinking? Okay, um, well, we 
we did talk today, and it's important to get the message out. Uh, Tom made a good suggestion. He was talking about when he was out, when you run the health department, uh, that you had an insert that you put into the tax bill, and it was information about the trash. Yeah, and actually, a well, correction on that. We had uh, two notice notification formats that went out in BOH. The one that went out with the trash bill happened to be real specific about the pricing structure and the rate that we're going to change on the recycle. But we also created a letter, a general informational letter about what was coming in the program. That we actually put into the newspaper and insert. And I got an idea of costs. <clears throat> there was roughly uh, 350 350 for that insert. And then it was like 185 to do what we did for mini version that we included in the tax bill, cycling from what they were supposed to stop. So it went to every household. So it went to every household. So every household. Did, family, you just like, did it for the I told them that. So I told them that. Have you read your, your free press this about week? It's got a nice bright yellow flyer right. and repeat it. Yes, and also people who donate food usually put that flyer right back into the yes. basket. Say, see, I did what yes. I was supposed to do. Do we have to get um, the approval of the select board or anyone to put something in the, the tax bill? No. So the tax bill. I think we were short with um, the tax bill, Kelly and Ryan directly well, told them what we were looking to incorporate. We might have had a conversation with Jody about it. Yeah, I know with like for the Tax aid committee, like we actually had uh, something, I think we had to accept something at town meeting related to that. But that might, I mean, like, I don't know how like general that is, but right. like, I don't know with the tax bill whether it, like, if it's permissible. If, well, if it, right, if it's like, if you might need the permission to do it, because we needed to do it for the tax aid committee to put one, like, there was an interest yes. for that. But that I know went through town meeting, but whether all of them have to, like, I don't know. That was just actually just written into the state law related to the tax aid. Um, so, this is essentially what went out with the tax, just this one little, about the same size as the envelope. Yeah. It was basically just general information. It was mainly to let people know the rate change. So was it with the, with the trash bill or it was with the, the real estate? Yeah. It was with trash bill. Uh, I was with the trash bill. So, that one bit? Oh, yeah. And then that's the case. Trash bill said, oh, here's what's coming. I thought you said the tax bill. Well, maybe we put the. Uh, well, I mean, we can take an action to I mean, talk to Dave and Joey about. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Just trying to think of something that's going to go to everybody. Yeah, in the community. Yeah, that's the thing. Real estate. I think that's online. I'm not. <laughs> 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 so. I don't want to actually engage uh, the local paper too because mm -hmm. they, they seem to be covering meetings. So I see a lot of updates in this meeting in that paper. Maybe a dozen. Maybe, maybe an interview. She does, and we have our own. It describes for... the meeting, but maybe not focus on why the why through the. Do they have reporting capability? Do they have what? Do they have a, a reporter who will do an interview? I've just been giving them your information. You might modify it or even better. You can spin that yarn. And we have our own sure So, what about like um, on the town website? You know how there's that banner that flips through? Like, I know I see that because I go to the town website. I don't know. So with the new with the new town website, I used to be able to put all of our flyers up, like the veterans flyer. It's not as easy, and they have to be very size specific. Right. Used to be you could take an eight and a half by eleven flyer and just right. put it on there. So Dan Dan has a know how for that Dan flyer. I mean, I know. Yeah, I've made them before. Like it's you know, you made a small one. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. But um. Yeah, I mean, I just wonder if that would be another way. That would be like potentially a free way to reach the people like me who don't actually <laughs> your tax bills. In. I just go right to the pay online. Yeah. But so, like, I mean, I think if we do, you know, we can do both. Like, we do as many of them. Well, right. Actually, well, sometimes you hear something. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So, like, if it, if it, you know, I'm gonna have about a hundred times. <laughs> but. 
That brings up yeah, that's a good point though. And maybe I don't think we're gonna plug Dan anyway, just to figure out the accessibility because we have to update pages. Right. I've been working with one now. So make I know he's a busy guy, but it might be worth a lot of the chat with See how we can view the website. So actually that reminds me on the website, is there going to be like a, a mission statement for the committee? So this has the mission statement for the council on aging, right. but like we, it did we like we never came up with one for a mission station for this? We never did. And I wonder if that would be useful. I mean to direct people to like the town website. I mean, is if it's a you know QR code to direct to the town website, like if you have, you know, like more information. Well, currently there is a basic page that's up there yeah. that references seeing the community building expansion, but it's just it's not those names are correct really, right. and it hasn't been updated. It, hasn't been it updated. will be. It will be yes. when I give them the list yeah. and the Good. minutes. Yeah, the historical. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I just yeah, it would be nice for there to be a place like on the website where people could go for more information or just I don't know. I don't know who's going to look for more information, but. Well, the other thing, too, uh, I have to follow up with uh, the person who does the Mendon uh, Facebook page. Is that Karen? Is that Karen? Karen the, oh, the, the bulletin board? Karen Slattery. Slattery. We're playing telephone tag. I'm going to see if we can vote for anything. You know, also, help advise how you get messages. It's quite frankly, like my daughter and a lot of people in the community go there. I go there to sell stuff. I go there just to see what's going on so far. That's probably one of the only Facebook things. So maybe that's another place we can start. So like, Peg, hey, did you see the email I just sent out? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an email person. I know. You were emailing me up till like six o'clock. Well, no, that was texting. Texting. Well, yeah. <laughs> trying to eat. The chili cook up. The chili cook up. I just sent that. Real yes, I told that. So, so, but that, that needs to go on that Facebook page. The, the fact that it's right. like, we're going to be there. Senior Center and friends are going to be there. We probably should have put in that it was indoors, but I only found that out this afternoon. The oh. thing is indoors. Well, only because it's supposed to rain on Saturday. And people yeah. might say, well, I'm not going to go if it's raining. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have thought that it was going to be outdoors, but well, I didn't know. I you know this is their first time. There were a lot, there was lots of information. This is their first <laughs> annual. First annual. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Oh, chili stuff. Yeah. You'll be there. I'll be there anyway, just just to support Walter's chili. It's delicious. So I guess the expectation that you're talking about, you just have a list of what's going on, and then look for volunteers. Man these places and things or great things, right? Well, I know the COA has been pretty good about supporting every every endeavor that we've well, done. I mean, good. all of the members, everybody's jumping on the wagon. In fact, Diane just told me Donna Son's going to come okay. um, for the trunk or treat. So that'll be four of us. Good. And some of us overlap. We're with the friends, too. So, yeah, we, uh, yeah, what else did we do? Oh, um, Tom was going to, you, Tom's going to reach out to Tom Bell and, uh, to see if he can find out about any upcoming activities because he he's retired from BBT. Yes. He might still know what things are. Well, actually, what I was doing and do is actually reach out directly with the club school in Nisco. Okay. Which I actually did go up to club today. Oh, of course, really? I picked a bad time right about the time when they were the kids are letting out. Oh, oh no. Yeah, so. Yes, <laughs> I was just traffic. Well, the traffic itself wasn't bad. The parking lot was pretty full, and I noticed people waiting outside, and I never experienced that. Myself, so I'm walking up to the building, all these people lined up. I'm like, what are they all waiting for? Just <laughs> <laughs> wait outside for the kids, yeah. right, to come out. So I but I hit the buzzer, and a, a woman came out from the office and she said, Geez, you caught us right at our right at our uh, best missile time. Can you shoot an email and we'll set up an appointment? I said, Sure, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And then I did go up to Misco and I said, Better luck up there. Okay, this busy? And spoke to a woman in the office there. And basically, we're trying to get an idea uh, to try to see how we could best connect with events that go on through the schools. She said pretty much everything is up on the website. They do the newsletters. And they pretty much post everything to their newsletters for events. So keeping, you know, by looking at their newsletters up on their websites okay. is probably the way to go. Right. And okay. seeing what potentially are events that we could actually make appearances at. 
you know, some things probably wouldn't apply because there might be probably more in school type programs that are going on, but there are some events that see maybe if you want to set up present, you know, be a presence at, you know. I respond to being a sponsor for one of the drama programs or something, getting their names in their well, we do have the chili cook off, which is uh, this Saturday, the 21st. And we've got the trunk or treat, which is the 29th, will be from Sunday that we're doing. Um, we'll have a presence at the town meeting on the 6th. Uh, that will be yourself, Diane, mm -hmm. and Carol. And we're having the veterans program on the 10th. And not all of the veterans are regulars at the senior center. And as we invite the we work with the police um, who help subsidize it, and we have a lot of veterans coming in. So we'll have some materials for them. We'll have this posted, and we'll have some materials that we can leave out. So that's another way of reaching. And then Tom and I talked about um, the Santa Parade, which is Friday the 1st, and that's kind of like a town-wide event. And um, I sent out uh, an email to Sally, uh, Sally Wagner, Riando, Riando. I know everybody by their name names. Uh, Sally Riando uh, to see whether or not they. Tom says they usually have cookies and like cocoa in the historical building. So I sent her a message to see if she could find out if we could have a small space there where we could leave pamphlets. So if they come in with their children to get. Cocoa and cookies, and they it'll be there. If they want to pick one up. Yes. Not to have a purse in there. Mm -hmm. not, not pushing that at home. Little float for you, Peg. You can. <laughs> I'll pop out of the cake. <laughs> that I probably will make. That's <laughs> a great one. Uh, anyway, I know, we I know that later in November, um, they do a turkey trot. Is that running? That's that's right. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to run pay, but yeah, if, right. If you wanted to kind of have a presence there at the event some way, they do it, I think, from the club school. They run up from the house, up to Miss come back. It's not a big one. A lot of people. A lot of people. It's a main sponsor. So I believe Lynn's email was the uh, Did you right? Yep. She did the, she was, did rock the block. Oh, okay. So from that came we in at only seven hundred dollars over this year, which was great. What was that? Seven hundred dollars over budget. Okay. We posed to last year's over. We well, you had horrible weather. I mean, seriously. No, no, that's fine. I'm just the sponsor. But everything was good, and we cut some costs and took things we didn't need. And next year we'll probably maybe even have a little few few dollars extra. Go ahead, go. Well, we still. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I mean, what I could certainly do is uh, Bruce is a fellow brother, Bruce Brother. I uh, could connect with him and maybe reach reach Lindsay that way. Okay. And let her know maybe what we're going to potentially do with that event. See if there's an association we could make. <laughs> and if any of you hear of anything, you know, just shoot us a text or an email just so we know. I'm going to compile it like a calendar. We're going to have like an ongoing calendar. So that we don't miss any events, we're trying to get the friends. We spoke at the we spoke at the friends meeting yesterday for about half an hour and went through everything. And so they're going to be part of our fundraising arm. So yeah, we'll kick them out. So we really need their support. Actually, you know, fifty two hundred people on the voters at the town hall for the main meeting. You look at the population. Is that what you're saying? Yes. We'll get a bus. <laughs> we can figure it out. What's that? Is annual? Yeah. Did I leave anything out, Tom? I think that kind of covered it. That went through. I really believe the support for this is big. Like, yeah, people understand. I don't know that we need to, you know, 
it still would be a goal of buying one. I think this is going to be still yeah. should be enough. It, uh, it may be unanimous, but um, I can't imagine that there's any. I heard no negative feedback. And you talk from all aspects of, of the spectrum as far as age groups. So I guess Mike could start a blur because that's the numbers. Right. The price tag. The price tag. Yeah. I, all, everybody likes that idea. Yeah. Okay, see the dollars and all of a sudden. Yeah, that, I, I was just been sitting here thinking, and really, that you mentioned putting wiring in the tax bill. Some of these people, they get their tax bill, and they just kind of, oh my God. So I was I was just yeah, thinking my own yeah. the only one I ever my tax yeah. bill but, well, well, okay. a residential mailer when you buy it through the post office is or so like the every door direct mail. Yeah, but you want to do just residents, you don't want to do this. So oh. Four hundred. I want to say with the business included, it was six eighty nine or seven, and then all you have to do is drop. Here's the thing: all you have to supposed to have to do is drop off the box, and they just throw it in everybody's mailbox for you when you pay that deal. So many people didn't get the rock the block for the flyer. Hey. I'm like, what are you guys doing? You just chucking these in the trash? Oh. I'm like, as yeah, like you're already out, like just throw the thing in the mailbox. So I don't know if they have. I'm just giving bad information or not, but. You would hope that they you would really know that. But in a sense, like it's the mail carrier, just like every other one. Mm. And then that's that is three forty for the the flyer for the booth entry because of that. That was oh, that, that's not bad at all. That was for the insert for you know, oh, the press. That was in the in open. Oh, oh, okay. So that might even be the wet better. Yeah, they need to go. That's cheaper than it was. It was because because yeah. the, the air just sucks it up. Yeah. 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 Because we have a new owner. The new owner was the printer. Um, is now the publisher. Right. And, um, yes. Yeah, that's a really good price. For two thousand. Do you just have to bring them the fly? No, we don't. They're yeah. actually I did email it to them. Yeah. They print it. They, they <laughs> get it to they get it to the free press. Yeah. For three hundred and forty bucks. Mm -hmm. So we think that's the wow. Save some money next year. That is that's that's a big thing. Thing. Well, we show that. How we didn't even do it this year was so expensive. <laughs> I was like, forget that. Maybe we got the senior discount. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Amy's in charge of rock the block. Yeah. But, <laughs> but like if we could Get a, I don't know, I'm thinking in the spring, like get a sponsor, like maybe like fun for free ice cream, like so that people like have a reason to look at the flyer. I don't know, like. We'll get a sponsor for the flyer. Yeah, get a sponsor for the Buy flyer. Ice yeah, I don't know, like like one of the. Willow well, Brooks or something. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. try that once. So, no. yeah. But the, the friends did. Uh, they had, uh, and Willow Brooks was not happy because not many people brought the coupon in. I see. For the ice cream. Okay. Oh, really? that was for a small nominal ad. That probably was probably what fifty dollars, maybe. Okay. So um, I don't know that you need to, but yeah. Well, I again, I, I I really think that I I understand yeah. what about the price, but I don't even know. I mean, we're not going in for some gross amount of money for an extreme building. We're gearing, you know, it's 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 a the money is right for what it is, and we're getting. We're doing a lot for our money. Yeah, we are. And the fact that we don't have to pay for the land is a plus because you try to buy land in Indy. We're all on the same level playing field. So, I mean, did anybody follow the um, the Upton expansion? I know theirs was a senior center and library, and I don't know if the source of the opposition is a complete of a project. I mean, I didn't follow it, I just noticed that there were. So that one did not. So he, here's here's my take on on Upton and their project. They're generally huge money. They have gotten multiple overrides passed. Overrides passed there that didn't pass here that they never took off. So they've got all this money. So Upton was just getting beat to death with these projects. The the expansion, the sorry, the redo of the of the town hall, although it came out fabulous, was crazy money. And then then they went right out, and it wasn't that long after they started this community community center deal. 
which was just another huge amount of money. So and I don't really feel like debt was falling off and they were just adding more. Um, no, and again, their library was very small. It was like ours. It was, uh, you know, it was kind of in the, the basement of that, of the, uh, on the church. Oh, the church. Um, so not that they didn't need it. However, just there was, I feel like we're a little bit more strategic, right? We find when debt's coming off so that we're in, it's more of a flow than it is a, oh my God, oh my God, my tax bill's going up again. Um, and then they go up and up as it is, right? So that it's, I think that we're we're just a little bit more strategic. We are probably a little conservative uh, financially when it comes to that. And, and, you know, but it's why we have older buildings. It's why we, have to be strategic about it, and I think it's the right way to do it. And it's points like that that should be part of that messaging that you know mm -hmm. we'd be talking about. You know, when the final presentation, at least when it gets toward that meeting, you know, oh, back, the yeah. vote actually has to happen. Yeah, that message that message is going to be critical. Like, we'll have to, like, the uh, but for the best I think Joey's doing some work on that. Oh, that's perfect. But I think she's doing it to me as part of a larger financial. I missed the question. When the debt was really Yeah, yeah. When the debt There's debt coming off this this year that yeah. it rolls into that. I just don't yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. So, well, which piece was it? Was it school debt? But it's not like school, but it's not like. Is it the club build out? I think that pulled off some of the. Uh, Let's see how this guy's No, like next year. Anyway, I I made a note to go talk. I got to talk to Julie about capital planning anyway. So I think that's what they capital planning, whether that falls on. Get our final message. Yeah, no, no, no. We need the but all those problems we can show would work. No, this would not impact on the citizens much. And then mitigate impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then on the other side of that, too, we talked briefly. Any kind of project money that's out there for Mark? Have you used that? Any kind of project money? I know Mark is looking at emergency management. He said he couldn't find any grants available right now. And he's going to continue to pursue it. He said possibly a generator. Good. There might be funding out there for a generator. For a generator. Also, that's huge. But all yeah. generator, plus the outfitting, right? Yeah. We probably don't have enough stuff, or the stuff is so old by now. I don't even. Yeah. What if you want a brand new gen you want a brand new generator that's gas yeah. driven, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Pro yeah. propane driven, run it off of the propane for the building, and you know, and the ones heck the one I got in my house would probably be sufficient because you don't need to run everything, you just need to run essential you know, you want to keep the kitchen running certain amount of lights, uh heating system well. I think it would be good to ask Mike tomorrow what level of itemization can he give us in terms of costs. So the more you break it down, the more you can start to target. I think it's over. I think it's over. You've been talking about the side. Look at the budget. Yeah, building. I want the building to clean, but I hope it's granularity. So tomorrow's video, I'm looking forward to seeing. Because we really need my mind to get some good crisp numbers and by next month, October month. Because I think that only gives us five or six months to deal with the funding, tuning, whatever else we when he comes back, he's going to say, here's how much it is. What can you do with pension? We're going to work tonight. We, I'm, working, I'm hoping tomorrow is, uh, you're all welcome to join us. But just you know, the last time we talked to him, he was kind of looking for a number from us, too. You know, you know, I know, that meeting was this, the architect? Yeah. Well, but, he said, well, at least I the way that I understand it. So if he's looking for a number, I would say, he told us that we can build over there that number. Yeah. So that's the starting number. Yeah. Um, maybe yeah. even if, years ago. Right. But that's so what was that number? All right. So if it's five or six, I don't know, call it six and a half or seven. Right? Was it that high? No, it was, it was three something. Yeah, years, it was that high. Kim you should hold ball it anyway. But Kim, Kim, Rob if you're going to, if you're saying it's three and a half right now, it's going to be. Okay. It's telling us how much it was a square foot. I have that in there. I just kind of hesitate to say this is what we spend and say, tell us what the yeah. expenses are. We'll figure out what we can. I think we went back with that. Yeah. Tell us what it costs. Yeah. 
Right, and then we'll decide what we remember. Once we have that, I'm hoping that the next step shortly after the meeting is a presentation to this committee. Okay, and then after that, we'll chew on it, and then a presentation to the select. So I think that's the steps we're in the process I'd like to see happen. Your turn. What do you see as a timeline for those two steps? Like before end of the year? Before end of the year. It's got to be before end of the year. Well, I said that. I don't know. You can invite it, brother. It's not before end of the year. We're no, we, we need, we're, we're at a point where we stop. We need, we need numbers now. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think for any kind of funding, any kind of decision making. Did we also, did we settle a site yet? No, we didn't. No. Have, I don't think he's got all the spreadsheets. Did you have? I don't have. I still need input. Alani, I think I need your input on it. Amy, I need some yeah, input. Yeah, oh, sorry, you just you need just need a, a reply with my choices. Yeah. Yeah, we did the pros and cons. Yeah, I thought I. I, I apologize. You might not have said it. I think I've got everybody. So you said Jack Hunter, correct? When you Jack, I expected something from him. I didn't receive it. Yeah, he was supposed they to give them more the sewer. Even, we'll get it. Okay. But now, Mike himself is going to give us some feedback, too, about the four locations. Right? Yeah, there's there's three key elements, I think. You know, it's the our input, our, which is important because it's taken a lot of time. I still think the traffic piece that I'm working with Mike on, I want to see what that is. We want to get an independent traffic view of the four locations. Sure. And yeah, sorry, just real quick. Choice one is the top looking, top, top choice, right? Yes. And then, uh, and then the other pieces I think are important. Is Mike, you know how practical, you know lot, how to build on it. And then the third is what I think is critical is the uh, piece I've asked Jack to do to start to look at the infrastructure. Well, what I'm saying. What kind right. Of he he said you said last month uh, last month meeting that he had agreed to look at all four sites yes. and do a high level assessment of the water and sewer results before we invest in engineering. And so. That was too, so. Hopefully, by the next meeting, you'll have that. Yeah, I don't have Might want to send you. Yeah. I, I will sum it up. We'll get him going. I think I'd also like to have Mike amend, amend the. Amend the here. Have him. I'm terrible with that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think I also have him for the chat. That would be a good match. Okay, uh, I've got some things that I can try to put together in this spread. Turn this to a why we need it. I you, think you can go. A, a sheet first. Elena said, yeah, even a sheet cut right into this. You know, why we need it. We can even do a list of 10 things. Yeah. Bullet points are nice. For, yeah, they're very fast. Yeah. yeah. And maybe we sit down and do brainstorm that a little bit more. Yeah. I mean, just what it's worth i really enjoyed the the, the boat that we need a bigger oh. boat like that i just thought that was a really clever it catchy like it was catchy so like if there's a way to work that photo in even just like print up a photo of it on the table like i just think it's catchy the whole and what thing yeah. so we should fill the sandwich board yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We want to allow, and it was yeah. in two weeks. Wait, no, no, you were a good sport. No, what do we need to do? Uh, but yeah, the boat. That kind of catchy thing. And the boat. Underneath the For example. Yeah, I mean, just because it's, yeah, I don't know. But if it's too light, you know, I get it. Like, but I just think for me, it was really memorable. I'm like, oh, wow, the whole Jaws thing, we're going to take a boat. Like, that was just like, I don't know. Like, I just remembered it, like, more than the other boats. It, even the it, ones that I helped make. It's, 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 it's worked well because of the venue. I'm not sure. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not sure I'm careful. But we'll think about it. Maybe. If nothing else, it's a photo. You could, I think, yeah, if you could have a little, like, on your table, you have a photo. Like, I do have to say, do I need to ask some who's there? As we learn big things, currently, did come up with an idea for next year's. Always, it was the old lady who looked at the shoe. Nice. And the kids didn't know what to do, so yeah. Okay. Well, nice. Okay. Uh, I think the only other things I wanted to touch base on are any quick action items we wanted to go through. Uh, I talked to Mark, uh, asked him to come be. Like Peg and Tom did a focal and Lonnie was funding. I was wondering if you'd be interested 
Picking up with Mark as we get forward, once we get some numbers, yeah. start pushing on funding issues. Mike, I'm not sure from the town standpoint, uh, if you want to be involved. Sure. But maybe try to, where do you think we can find funding? The, the, the question, broader question, is it grants? Are we chasing grants? Mark knows how to do that. Uh, and where else can we chase grants? State reps, uptown, park of money, town, a credit kind of money. Man, I agree with Lonnie. I think it's time that we start to see the numbers and the itemized nature of it. We can start to figure out. We could go out to line number ten. That's what, what Senator Gardner was uh, needed. Was I, I needed yeah. to give him numbers like right. this or this? But as I'm thinking, you know, I don't think we could pull it if we get the numbers. Right. But once we do, right. if, you, if you guys are yeah. ready to jump into that, like maybe the three of you to focus on that. Yeah. Talk to Jody. Uh, <laughs> doing the Catholic stuff anyway. But I think Stuff in the park, talk to her about okay. how do we get that, that schedule teed up to understand how to play this. So, on that, that funding, and then Peg and Tom give us an idea, and we'll have that calendar, which would be good. Yep. And if you ever need volunteers, Peg, let us know and let the committee know to the sure. These guys will help. And if you need special tchotchkes, because maybe kids need something different, it's a kid event. Well, that's what we got to go to the trunk or tree. Tchotchkes, you know, okay. different yeah. things, yeah. And, uh, Building site assessment. I got a couple to come in, and then I'll just summarize those, pass it out. We'll add um, Mark uh, P, uh, Mike Key's uh, input on it, and then I have a survey for the engineering stuff from uh, Jack. And then 52, I really don't care about right now. I want the, our next meeting schedule consolidation. Once I talk to Mike Petrovic, get his understanding, I want to start putting up. More detailed schedule behind us. This meeting, I mean, by this time we should have cross net. By this time we should have engineering work done. But site selection, I mean, that's a big milestone to start forming on. And do you think we can get the site selected before the end of the year? Absolutely, we have to. I think. Because no we have to sell that. Yeah, I, I think we have to get that. You're right. And, uh, but we need, I, I would like to see the we get the cost now down and get that in by December. We should nail it down, 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 not November. We probably could nail it down tomorrow, but I think there's other reasons. Right. No, we'll talk to Mike tomorrow about it. And then the uh, conservation restrictions on locations and considerations. I think I still need to talk. Mm -hmm. I think every and because I think that we have something stuff everywhere. Because we need more acreage for, for waste acres to account for this septic system. We have it at our current site. I'm not sure what we have in Morrison. I'm not sure what we have up here. If we need some of the town restrictions with the north. No, the way that I saw, the way that the plans are written, I don't see that we need. So at Hopedale Street and North Act, we don't need any conservation. The only restriction we need changed is the size right. of the building. That's right, that quick and, size. And that seemed to be a, a, a doable little piece. Uh, at North Avenue 16, there's no restrictions that need to be lifted there for site. We have plenty of space okay. outside of any of the restrictions. Is there any zoning considerations at like North Avenue 16? I mean, you always say it's for municipal use, but I'm not exactly sure how's that that whole parcel's zoned right now. Even if there is, we are the town. I, right. I, I think that we just waited. <laughs> uh, 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 I, 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 although I want to say maybe municipal use is probably covered in the, in the use chart. I'll have to look. Okay. Uh, yeah. That says everywhere. It's in every right. municipal use is in every every uh, zone, yeah. uh, if you will. So I'll check. <laughs> but yeah, I think that we would, we would be able to probably get yeah. that one through. <laughs> um, yeah, but then again, you never know. And Morrison is not, or there is some. Interest. So Morrison's, uh, it's already municipal because it's, uh, it is, it's in it's commercial industrial, um, and it is already a municipal use lot. Currently, is a municipal use lot on Harvard Ave is essentially residential, yeah. um, but again, I don't, I don't foresee that. Okay, so actually, okay, so, so they're all equal. Doesn't, doesn't seem like that. No. I'll just I'll verify it. I'll just look over at the use travel tell me and then I'll uh, I'll get it. Bill Ambrosino is generally a pretty really 
understands that piece just because he. Yeah. Okay. Well, sure enough, somebody set that up. That's great. Right. Yep. I'll handle that. I'm um, assuming the contracts is that all set? Uh, contract he's bringing tomorrow. Okay. So he's received it. It's make sure he received it. Yeah. He did receive it. Contracts there. He said he's going to bring it with him tomorrow. So assuming he's signing the next key. Uh, either that indicates that he's any issue. So that contract, uh, Amy delivered it to him. Contracts in play. And any other open topics or any other questions or concerns? I'd ask you all if you haven't given me the input, send me the input. I think it's only a few. And then the other side of the coin is when I send out a rough draft of the 10 bullets, please take a look at that email. Put your comments at it. So we can get something published so we can have it. We can use up these and do the insert with it. I like that. Why? Or did you know? Kind of approach. Uh, and then we'll figure out what else we need to do to build forward. Because each one of these events, maybe we little, maybe we need t-shirts, maybe we need buttons. I know you don't have to sell it, but I still this town I've seen them shut down so many projects. So yeah. um, just because they didn't like the money. Yeah, I don't think you need to sell it. I just think communication is good so people aren't surprised by it. Yeah. I, I did have um, two seniors, different seniors, um, ask me questions about these um, lot at 16 in North Ave, and that was about pesticide use. Oh, that's right. That's right. Somebody said that yesterday. Right. Was there much? It was not in the orchard, so they were concerned about pesticide use. Oh, so, so, yeah, yeah, so sure, yes. So, you're talking about at 16 in North Ave. Yeah. So 16 in North Ave, we did samples ages ago. Um, nothing's been done recently. I'm going to think about the wave machine. The, the, the chemicals that were found were found in that lower section. Um, that's where we did a lot of the core samples. And from, if I remember correctly, they were all chemicals that over a short amount of time will, will just dissipate due to rain and whatever and filter. However, we would probably test it. We do those no matter that could be a okay. Yeah. Uh, and again at this point I, I would probably have to assume at this stage of the game that they're probably it's probably pretty limited, if any. They seem to be okay. That was the I did also want to just say too I, I think I found that Many of the seniors are dismayed right now. Yes. And I think that's really where a message needs to, you know. Well, that's why we tr we're trying. We, no, I know. We met with them yesterday. They answered answer every question that they had, well, that, except on the pesticide. Can you account. explain that to yeah. me? They're, they're because. Are they stressed about the. Leaving, moving to a different location. Yeah. We've, been, we've been working on this since 2014, so yeah. 14, 18, I mean, in terms of purchasing land and. Um, and then, and then the town approving money for you know um, the initial designs, which were years ago, um, like 18, 2016. So yeah, I think they're they're just made. Okay. One of the things they put on the uh, assessment sheets, creating the different categories, pros and cons, mentioned to uh, Peg earlier. I had one word that applied to both pro and con uh, for that location. Familiarity. Is it familiarity? Pro that that's familiar. Also a con because it is familiar, uh, and moving away from that, what kind of issues is that going to cause? You know, psychological people's minds about some new change, you know, that level. You know, when, when, when Peg and I were speaking this past the other day, the point came up about oh, you know, I have to move. And I forgot to move. And then we talked about well, you know, remember you have to you mm -hmm. have to move anyway because if we put it here, yeah, put it sure. here for a year, yeah. you just move. That you're disrupted for your eyes. It's kind of like if you let us, if you build it somewhere, I'm not, I didn't rule out that building. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, if you build it somewhere, then you can just turn the heat. You can move to the new location. Of the heat. That really is. Well, so Mike, Mike A was saying uh, at one of the earlier meetings, too, like new building, people will have an interest. They'll want to come in and see it. You know, they're like, oh, we've been by that building and I'm going to change and get it to Oh, this is a new site. They might have some new things. We could, bigger. We could have some more participation at yeah. a younger level. Potential. We'd like to get that. We, uh, we need some younger seniors coming in, but a lot of them are still working. 
If there are people are concerned, though, I don't think we just be passe about it. Do we need to talk more about it? Yes. Um, We're talking every month. Good. Every month. For every month for and answering, and answering any questions. Even if you need like a fresh person to come in, yeah. I'll let me know to come to a meeting and I, I can always generally yeah. you know, that, that might be a good idea that just switch it up a little bit yeah. so people don't you know hear this not the same old but you know just fresh yeah, yeah. and take their you know and, and can generally take their concerns and, you know you have to listen to them. so what is the november meeting i mean the, i'd rather not meet halloween if you don't mind you know yeah. i mean i'm not going to be here oh, no this is the friends meeting. oh i thought you meant for this meeting i'm out the week the week of the annual town meeting, I'm leaving the next day, a couple of days. It's, 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 the second, it's the second, it's the uh, second Monday of the month. Yeah, so that would be the 13th of November. Yeah. It would be about 10 30. That's fine, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, we have we're, we have an open forum that we said every half hour before the meeting. Mm -hmm. We're here, we're just traveling. We're going to go to the veterans program, talk to them there. Be available. I don't know if we're going to talk. I yeah, think I we're just going to have it's, we'll it's that's strictly for the veterans. Sure. I don't mind having this. I don't mind having some handouts, but it's 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 to honor them. Sure. We'll be available. That's all the question. Maybe we can sing some lyrics. Like, hey, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what we need to some cadence. What? Army cadence. <laughs> But uh, okay. so that's the, the veterans thing in the same day. No, 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 no. That's uh, November or the tenth. Right. Right. The tenth is the veterans. Yeah, so we honor them for breakfast. We have the same. So, yeah, we know it's right now. So maybe I'll come to that. Please do. Yeah. Yeah, it's. I'll tell you. We've, uh, I don't think there'll be questions on this. I'm just. You're more than welcome. But I. I don't. No, I just. I'm, I. She always asks me to come as a veteran. So I. Yeah. I, 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 and I always either forget or. No, no, but I'll send you the email. All right. You can talk it up at your table. Yeah, yeah. Any other veterans here? Yeah. Sure. Any other progress you've covered? I did have um, someone come up to me today and um, it's a little bit distressed. Why do we have to move? Why can't we stay here? Morris and Ann were shot back down. It's the school buses, the school buses, and I'm sitting there. The school buses are going to be the same at Morris and Amp as they are here on Providence Road. They're going to be coming out at the same time and they're going to go in at the same time. You know, they're, they're not changing their schedule at all. Yeah, all right, but still. Okay. It's, yes. it's, uh, I get it. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, hold on to what you yeah. you're going to You're going to have both sides of the spectrum. Right? It's just like somebody that lives in the same house for their entire lives as opposed to somebody that's had six houses, you know, that you know, what? Some people don't like change, some people don't mind change, and some people love change. So it, we just have to try to help them, the people that are very concerned about it, just help them to get more comfortable with it. And, and but listen, listen to what you're saying. Yeah, listen to me. And this is what we're going to offer you. This is what the new building will offer you. Because, you know, it's very, I feel bad for Amy. It's very hard for Amy to look someone in the face and say, I'm sorry, but the event is full because we don't yeah. have any room. We've got Dick Ferrucci. Who would pay for a hundred dinners at Christmas? We can't fit a hundred people in there. So Amy's got to do the cutoff, and some people that's you know that's their only mm -hmm. entertainment. Yeah. So you know we have to push what we're going to be able to offer. Yeah, I mean the new building, no matter what, is going to be great, right? It, it just we have to, you know, if, if obviously it's we're leaning towards a new location. Um, if I had to bet, it's it's either of the North Ave locations, right? So either of those two locations. It's gonna, the new building's gonna be great no matter what, right? The, the hang up right now with the folks that use it the most, or, or a small group of folks that use it the most, is that they don't wanna leave it. And that's, that's that nostalgic piece, right? And we get that, I understand that. So we just have to help that group. If we do, you know, if the location is likely somewhere else, then we just need to have, hold their hand essentially okay. through that and, and bring them up through the process, like, hey, Let's do a visit of a day that we're building the building and like get them excited about yeah. it. That's what we need to do is get them excited. Find out what's it gonna look like. You try to understand you know, more detailed reason why is it just the dog in? Or is it the street I don't want to try that far? Sure. Yeah. Some people yeah. are saying that they're yeah. like it's practically an update. Is is it, it, yeah. 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 It, it is or, or is it too 
damn it, I don't want to listen to anybody tell me where to put my new building. This is my building. I want to stay here. Right? Some so, people, too, their husbands oh. have stopped donating their time yes. to town, 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 and sure. put sure. windows in. It's got a place in there. We have another one that's underway right now, at which is coming on Thursday. And then I'll say, I'm feeling bad. You know, this could be a, uh, one of those little library boxes for the DPW. You know? That's easily moved by. At the, at the end of the day, if you don't forget, this building will be used for something else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying, I'm like a beautiful shed that was donated by both the Friends and the Eagle Scout. That was the gorgeous, gorgeous shed. I mean, but that can be picked up. Give me more. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, I don't want to carry on. Okay. Uh, anyone move to adjourn? Second. Did you pick so, a move? Did you pick a move? Oh. 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 Before well, the No, I'm saying, are you, are you scheduling the next meeting? It's my question. Yes. Halloween is skipped that two weeks. Don't do it. Well, it's just next weekend, the third. Sorry, what's then going to be the next? What's the next weekend? The next Tuesday. It will be the seventh. Yeah, no way, really. So the day after the town meeting, the day before the ceremony. Right, unless you want to move it to a different day. Hold on. So October thirtieth first is that. So do we? Is anybody? Was Wednesday is probably going to be a selected meeting, right? The first. Do we want to just do the 30th to keep things? Yeah. Yeah. That's Monday. That way, that'll actually skip that next week, which is the ATM, right? Mm -hmm. So that gives us a, a meeting. Unless you want, does it make sense that we would have that meeting? I mean, suggest a Friday, but on either Thursday, the second or the third, only because it gets us the closest possible day to the ATM. For any type of strategy we may want to. <laughs> yeah, I, I can. That's fine with me. What, what is everybody's schedule? I'm open on Thursday and on Friday. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Uh, th Thursday would probably be preferable to yeah. interrupt anybody's Friday night unless we're going to meet at like five. For an hour. I think it's. Yeah, we can do Thursday. 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 What's that? I think it's almost going to be at the park. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless we, we could meet at. Oh, yeah, we could. <laughs> oh, we just have to be. Maybe we don't record that. Okay, Thursday, yeah. on, Thursday on the second. Okay. okay, so second it is. I'll get that out in the notes so that everybody's aware of it. It's in November good. second. Okay, Probably. now you can adjourn. You can join remotely. Pardon? You can join remotely because we want to stay on all these nights all day. Okay. Is it adjourned? We're adjourned. Oh, I think we've reached first. Hi. 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 <laughs>